Look now, this is one of them right here. Smile. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a video. Oh, 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 okay. I'm, I'm waiting. Okay. Uh -oh. If this thing goes to the side, it's the middle cerebral. If it goes to the front, it is the anterior cerebral. See this little nub here? Mm -hmm. That's going to be the anterior communicating. Perfect. On this one, here's your anterior cerebrals. Anterior communicating middle cerebrals. Here middle, is okay, this is the middle, middle cerebral. And where is the carotid? The carotid is right in here. It's uh, right in here. Okay. Can I take a look now? Yeah. That like right thing? there. Okay. Right there. Here is the posterior communicatings. Here. Here is the posterior. Wait, the posterior, I'm sorry. Oh, posterior down there. Posterior okay. communicatings. Here is the posterior cerebral. Now, this comes into play. That's why I want to use this one because it shows the whole thing. The very next blood vessel, just inferior to the posterior cerebral, will. Um, posterior cerebral will be the anterior superior cerebellum. Now, in the book, they just say superior cerebellum. I really prefer anterior superior. You say superior, you're okay. The very next one goes into the internal auditory meatus. So this guy is the labyrinthian. Just below the labyrinthian is the anterior inferior cerebellum. Now, if I take this model and plop it in there, this guy matches up here. So here we have the anterior superior cerebellum. If we look underneath it, below, inferior to it, there is the anterior inferior cerebellum that matches up here. Not on this model directly, but there you have the posterior inferior cerebellus. On this model, they draw it in here, but they don't have it coming. So it connects, it will yeah, connect Yeah, it'll this. connect it down there. Now, on this model, look at this guy. This guy that's down below and posterior, that is the posterior inferior cerebella. Here is the posterior inferior cerebella. And if I plop it in, they match up. So here you have the three cerebella arteries on here, matching up here. This is why I like to use this particular one, because you can see on this exactly where it goes. Do the last table, and I'll give you the last picture of the two.